These are our early predictions for WWE 2K24. The first one is going to be Cody Rhodes is fixed. In 2K23, we finally got Cody Rhodes back in a WWE game when he made his giant return, but it had a big, big problem, and that was that Cody's theme song would not work with any alt attires on him, and we couldn't use his theme song with anybody else. It was completely locked. And one of the rumors online is that Cody really kept things really tight knit when it came to how his character was being utilized and licensed out. And again, just a rumor and speculation, but it does kind of make sense because he was like the only character where this was an issue. I think in 24, this gets cleaned up. We know that the band that does Cody's theme song has no problem licensing out the theme song to the rest of the game. I think in 24, you're going to be able to use Cody's theme with anybody. And I think you're especially going to be able to use Cody's theme when you set an alt attire for him. Cody has some of the best attires in WWE and it's a real shame that we couldn't get this working in 23. I think it's one of the first things we'll notice fixed in 24. The second prediction I have is that Jade Cargill will make her WWE 2K debut and I think it's going to come in the form of DLC. I think Jade Cargill will headline one of the big DLC packs for 2K24. We haven't seen her debut in the ring yet, but we have now, as of the time of this recording, we've seen her showing up at Fastlane and on NXT. You gotta think, she's going to be debuting very, very soon, and I think for 2K and WWE, because they're treating her like a giant star already, before she's even stepped foot in the ring, they're gonna wanna be making her a focal point for the next 12 months, and I think 2K is gonna wanna get that scan done by Survivor Series, by the Rumble, as soon as they possibly can, to make sure that she's going to be in the game. Jade being a part of the DLC pack would be the headlining act in my opinion, and that would give fans a really big reason to want to pick up the season pass. I think with all the money and attention WWE is putting into Jade Cargill, that's why you're going to see her as a big, big focus when it comes to DLC, either giving us just one attire or two, but I think 2K would get her full entrance scan done, and they would actually do a really detailed and good job of her facial capture and full model capturing for the game. Next prediction, moves are getting expanded. Brian Williams, one of the head developers over at 2K, really loves doing the creative moves and focusing on move sets. In the past 2K games, when he has been involved in all of the development, this is one thing that he really, really focuses on, and we can see that with the later half of 2K23 and all the patch updates that we have received, focusing around different moves, moves being added in, just patched with the DLC, and one of the brand new move features that has actually come into the game under Joe Gacy, one of his moves in part of the DLC. And this was a new move type that they kind of tested out where it was a combo, where you're able to either complete the entire transition of the full move, or you could actually just stop it by only pressing one button and you could finish the move that way. I think what we get with 2K24 is an expansion of this in the form of create a finisher. I don't think we're gonna get full create a finisher back in the game. What I mean is being able to have like crazy amount of detail and options. But I do think that with them working on these combo moves that they wanna be able to introduce in their testing and they brought into the game, I think we get more of that. And I think we get a stripped down basic version of create a finisher with this kept in mind, where you're gonna be able to do combos and be able to put together a finisher on a basic level and then in 2k25 they expand on it next big prediction here and it's very timely because we just had AEW and NXT go head-to-head -head, and this has been a common theme this year with WWE programming this has happened a couple of times now I'm talking about special guest referee on this past episode of NXT LA Knight yeah showed up and he was the special guest referee in the match of Dominic Mysterio and Ilya Dragunov the hilarious part with that by the way was that LA Knight didn't take the sunglasses or his vest off but he had the referee shirt underneath which I appreciate we have seen John Cena come back and be a special guest referee we have seen special guest referee moments in WWE programming this past year more than once we know that from the developers side they have said in previous interviews this past year that they know they are aware that the community is asking for special guest referee it is one of my big predictions that this is the match type 2k is going to focus on for players they're going to hype it up like they did with war games as the 
new match type. We know it's not, but my prediction is it's new this year. Do I think we get special guest referee with two referees? Do I think that we get special guest ref elimination chamber and multi-man matches? Probably not. Look what happened with double title entrances. We got stripped down version of that. It was reintroduced, but it was limited. I think if they bring in the guest referee, it's gonna be limited, but fans are gonna be happy that it is back. And I think they'll allow us to do one-on-one -on -one matches in all different formats in terms of Extreme Rules, Hell in a Cell, Cage Matches, but it's gonna be limited. All right, let's talk about GM mode. I don't think we're gonna get everything under the sun for this thing, but I do think we are gonna get some small but important improvements to the mode. I think one of the big things we get is the incorporation of creations. And what I mean is not only the put in your own general manager, your custom GM like we have seen in terms of just the render image, but I think they will finally allow us to have a custom championship put into the mode as well as your own custom create an arena or show as the primary show for you to utilize. I think they stick with Raw, SmackDown, NXT, WCW as your show options, and they add in one slot for your custom create arena. I don't see anything crazy happening with my GM. I hope that they add in more contract stipulations in terms of length and being able to control the contract some more. Bringing in trades, I hope for that. On the match type side, I do think that they just increase the number. We've seen this with patch updates in 23. For 24, I think they finally elevate things and they give us up to six man matches, six man tag team, elimination chamber as an option in the calendar year for my GM. My GM is fairly solid in my opinion. I don't have a lot of complaints there, but I think these are some of the improvements that we could see and it's one of my big predictions. The next one, universe mode. The universe mode needs like a ton of work. And we're, we ain't gonna get half of it, ladies and gentlemen. I am not that bold and that brave to assume that we are gonna get anything and everything under the sun. But I do think, and I'm reasonable, I'm a reasonable human being, and I think we're gonna get a few minor, but good healthy improvements to universe mode. One prediction, might not happen. It's more of like, I wanna see it, draft. I want them to take a WWE draft and incorporate it. We have seen WWE drafts every single year, and they brought it back more recently this past year, that I want to be able to see them do a proper draft within Universe. I think it adds more life. I think it makes more fun when you're going through your 12-month cycle and you can incorporate a brand new draft. The other thing I think they do is they expand the action item list. This was actually one of the things I really liked about Universe Mode this year. It created more opportunities to have cutscenes. You could create some fun moments. That there were different levels of cutscenes and interactions and actions that you could take based off of the level of the rivalry. I liked it, and I think what 2K will do is they will expand on this list. It'll be a selling feature to say we have maybe doubled the amount of actions that you can choose from. One of them being, for a big bold prediction, promos. I think that 2K brings back the slot for promos within your match card to be able to have one to two promo slots in there instead of an extra match. And I think by doing this, they will incorporate the action item list within it. Select your rivalry, pick a promo and pick from the action item list what type of promo you want to conduct, maybe even a customization option in there to incorporate your own text. Promos are so massive within WWE. We see it all over the programming every single week. I think that this is one thing they need to bring back, utilize some of the elements and the tools and assets from my rise. They have talked about how that is being utilized in universe mode, making it more open, easier for the devs to work on, bring in promos, being able to select things like an in-ring promo, on the stage ramp, or backstage interview segment, those types of things, and let us incorporate that to give universe mode way more life. And the other one for universe mode, double title matches are finally gonna work. Another one, this one might work out for me. This one could totally fall flat as of today. Right now, as of recording, the rumors are that CM Punk is now not re-signing with WWE. It could all just be a ruse, and they're gonna actually debut him, and they're just trying to steer all the fans and everyone away from it. If CM Punk returns at Survivor Series or the Royal Rumble, my prediction is he will be in 2K24 as part of a late addition for DLC, and I think 2K would be very smart if he does return. They add him in as the fifth and final DLC pack as the main headliner. You give us CM Punk in there, and why do I say the latest and the last one? Because if he comes in late, it gives the devs enough time to scan Punk, to get him in the game, get his move set, get everything set up. They get an extra little bit of timeline in terms of development if they scan him very, very late. 
just put his render image on the front of the cover for the DLC pack. At least then we know he's going to be in there. And that would give the devs several extra months in order to work on his model to include him in the game. It would be a massive win. Also, from a business perspective, it would probably sell a lot more of the season pass and the DLC packs if you knew CM Punk was in there as one of the final ones to be able to pick up. Chain wrestling and tired finishers will return. I think the devs with Brian Williams at the helm are gonna bring this back. Chain wrestling, especially with how we have seen some of the options menu with gameplay and the sliders have been all updated for 23. I think they take this a step further when incorporating chain wrestling back into the game and so that we can adjust how we want the chain to work. If you want to be able to have long chain wrestling at the very beginning of the match or utilize the sliders in the option menu to make it really, really short or turn them off completely, at least giving fans and players the option to do that. And the other one is with the exhausted finishers, tired finishers for the animations themselves, being able to do a pedigree onto your opponent and Triple H crawls over to do the pin. You see this in a cutscene within 2K, it's there. When someone is going to do a run-in, you see them try to do the crawl animation. It's all there. It's just all wonky and glitched right now. And I think that this is something that they will bring back because for most of the patches for 23, they incorporated more exhausted finisher animations just need the crawl to go over there. It adds more drama, it makes it more fun and more into the simulation experience. All right, do you want two bonus ones for you? Because I got them right now. Number one, recently released superstars, their motions still in the game. That's one prediction. I think the likes of Edge, Shelton Benjamin, Dana Brooke and others, their motions are gonna be in the game. You will be able to select them and use them. And the other one, defeat the tribal chief. More of a towers gameplay. They might incorporate something like that in my faction because they have the 2K towers in there. But I think one idea that they can work on to make it in the full game is going to be going through a towers event of trying to beat Roman Reigns, much like we got in the past with The Undertaker. I think they could do it this year with the Tribal Chief. What are your predictions for 2K24? And if you want more news on 2K24 and updates, click this video right here. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.